Hello, people. It is Sunday morning, the 8th of October. Cheers. Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing pretty good this morning. Hmm. So, right now I'll be watching the, the news, so-called news even less. It just has to be war and fighting and killing and bloodshed and, and madness. It doesn't there. There has to be, doesn't there? It's so profitable. Somebody's making money off of it. So, there it is. Ain't gonna stop. So people ask me about, well, I haven't seen you show this, I haven't seen you show that. Well, how long have you been watching me? Because the last few times people have said, I haven't seen you show this. That's not true. You just must be late to the party. One of the recent asks was about to have Happy the Man. Let me see where that stuff is. I've got a, just a Got a couple. I know I've talked about this. Maybe it's been years ago, but from the East Coast, I forget Maryland, possibly. Happy the man. Well, when this came out, being named up after a Genesis song and with a beautiful cover like that, it was like even before I heard it, I knew I had to hear it. Then when I heard it. And this is my second copy. I bought it when it came out. This is a, a replacement cutout. It's beautiful. This is beautiful. You know, the 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 vocals are the are the for me the weak link. The instrumentals are fantastic. And I love Kit Watkins playing. I've got some of his solo records. If I peek where okay. Don't make me dig some more right now. I have this one. Thankfully, Happy the Man followed up. Their second album is not as beautiful as the first album, but it's good. It's a step forward. It's like they weren't one trick pony. It's like this is a this is a really good band. And then this early stuff. Third, well, it's the third album, Better Late, which came out. Much later did it, or did it come out? Yeah. It was recorded in 79, didn't come out until the 80s. Still good. And then they got, they have some later records. I burned one, I forget the name of it. And then I have um, a, so I have more stuff on CD. So I just wanted to show that. Someone had asked me about the band Startled Insects. And if I, oh, I have it. I can just spot it real quick. I'll show it. Oh, golly. It's down here. There it is. That wasn't too bad. It was a while back. Someone asked me if I knew about Startled Insects. I have this one. I think they have two, maybe three albums. Insects. Instrumental. I thought this was pretty good. Um, it's like, um, yeah, I don't know how to describe this. I just think it's good. You know, I, I love instrumental music. I love people doing stuff where they're exploring ideas instead of just following a, a, a set pattern that's been done before many, many, many times. So how was your weekend? Yesterday I did what I said I was going to do. I opened up the, the studio. And sure enough, I was able to start a new piece. This, 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 really, it's the first um, real work I'm doing on my newer, my refurbished computer. Noticed some bugs, you know, some glitchy stuff. So hopefully that will smooth out or I might have to get more power for the uh, memory power or something but I got a, I got something started um, that is like okay I listened to it this morning and said okay yeah 
this 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 is worth keeping or returning to. But I got to tell you, I had a revelatory listen yesterday. Oh, well, first off, let me share this. Terry, if you watch today, I did receive your the CD you sent me, Slowly Becoming's Sunroom Sessions, Volume 1. I only briefly put it on yesterday because my head was in a different place, mainly to do with slow dive and my music, to be honest with you. I love your graphics, and um, again, first impression, the first thing I listen to is, uh, this is this is real music, these are good, piece of good, good people, nice people, probably people I would enjoy spending some time around. Thank you for sharing your music with me, thank you for buying Interlude, and for the, so far, everyone that's actually listened to the, the, the CD, or let me know how good it is. And I want to tell you, I'm super proud of this. I had an I had an experience yesterday with it myself. After recording for a little while, I said hello to family real quick, recorded some more, and then did some listening. Slow dive is still on the heavy rotation. Besides listening to, I'll get to mine in a minute. Besides listening to this again all the way through, I love this. It's it's um, it is it's 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 background music, but it's lovely, and I can hear where Sakamoto is involved here. I can hear his playing on Hosono's tunes, and then I listen to side two of this this um, music now for harp. The first side, the ta Takamishu, was the one that attacks. The B side is more droney. And um, atmospheric, really, really good. Now, the other thing, though, that I want to share, that I, oh, no, man, I did play some of this in the morning. In the morning, I did play some a whole side of Divine Symmetry with David Bowie. Love the man, I do. And this has good memories and strong memories of when my good friend Tim, who, rest in peace, I found out last year that he had passed away. He was a good friend of mine in high school. He was one of my um, sleepover friends. I would spend the night at his house. I was real tight with him and his nine brothers and sisters and his mom. His dad was a bigot, but, um, but the rest of the family were gold to me. This album, um, Hunky Dory... Um, it sh shortly after Tim came out of the closet, it's so interesting how life is. Here I was with Tim, one of my best friends, sleeping over really often. And when he came out as gay, I was surprised. But anyway, we, we had some music in common. Bowie was one of them, and he, he had a copy of Hunky Dory before I did. And so that's when I could listen to it. So it reminds me of that time and of Tim. Um, this was enjoyable. I, I like, I, I do love David Bowie and his legacy. So anyway, besides that, I must tell you that I had a, an intense listening experience with my own album. This is really, really good. I've given you 20 tracks there is no filler on here there's nothing on here that is weak and thank you trish for the feedback on number 16 yes matter has is one of my favorite tracks on the album as well of course there's many tame i love that key i've shared the live video of that um reflection i've released that before um digitally I was blown away, honestly, with how smooth it goes when it when it when when it ended and transitioned into what else is on my uh, current um, iTunes for play, which is Slow Dive, their last two albums. And I don't sound like Slow Dive, but it 
I'm man, it, it really flows with it. It was like, wow, I'm really proud of this. So to encourage listening, because I would really like people to hear what I'm doing here, I am going to offer fr free download codes, um, one every now and then, probably for, I'll see. Okay, so check it out. So today, I, I love that. And, it, and it's a real CD, not a CDR. That's important. I was getting flack from some audiophile or just people that want to bitch about stuff. That's a CDR. That's not a CD. Everybody's doing CDRs, but I went ahead and paid the extra. And that's why I have so many. And that's why I keep saying, buy it. You bought the Muse. Buy this. I got plenty to sell. But I'm going to, in the in the uh, comment, not the comments, but the uh, description box underneath the video today, I will supply, supply a download code where you can get a di free digital copy of the of Interlude. Okay? Now, what I'm going to also do is I'm going to check, because I can check. I'm going to check and see if anybody downloads it. If anybody does, I'll do it again. If, if no one downloads it, I, I'll... There's no interest. I'll say it again. Really proud of this. This is, man, man, I'm, this is good shit. It is. You know, I was even sitting there getting to the point where it's like, man, I did that. Like the uh, second to the last track on here. Please stay with me, people. Tracing. Second to the last track on here was the music that I was commissioned by a dance troupe to do. So that one... The way that I put it together is a little different than my others, so that when I listened to it yesterday, it was almost like hearing it for the first time. And it was like, wow, I did that. So, a free download code today. And I'll check and see if anyone takes it. If you do, I'll do it again. But I sure would like to sell you a, 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 a copy of this. I really would. I'm real proud of this. And I'm going on and on and on. Yes, I am. Because it means that much to me. It sure does. It sure does. I'll return. I'm having a bit of a um, buzz in the ear today. Day. I just like that. It's. I almost wonder. I don't know that I've ever had COVID. But the way that this rises and falls. Like I'll have... A couple of days where the ears are are tinnitus -y, and then I'll have a, a day or two where it's real low and almost <clears throat> not there. And then it comes back again like today. I wish it would go away completely. But I just wonder, is this not time at tinnitus? Is this something to do with COVID? I don't know that I've ever had COVID, but I don't know that I have it. Even though I've had three shots, I've never ha I have not had any outward signs of COVID, you know, but this, I don't know. Okay, so just to, where should I pull from? What could be interesting? Well, everything can be interesting. You know, so far I have not embarrassed myself and I don't know that I can embarrass myself by pulling records um i do find things it's like okay it's time for this to go like for example the other day out in the other room brilliant corners is a uk band that was i think about the c90 time that stuff was happening they had a couple of um um catchy tunes like something about a brian ricks or something and then when i saw the albums i got the albums super cheap but i saw those out in the um the as a room and so i pulled and said let me see do i do i need to keep these and no no those those are going to get traded they're not embarrassing though but what is this what is this here i keep going over here let's see what this let's see what this little group is here okay so here is one of the more recent times that I got sucked into a pre-order. Um, this was being talked about 
in the Prague groups and another um, seemingly prominent collector, um, can't think of his name right now, Caesar, I think. 25 Years of Worthing is the name of the project and the band. There's a Canterbury progressive rockness to this album. I haven't played it in a, quite a while. There might even be some personnel. But this is what is this is actually good. Nothing to be embarrassed about there. Here we go. This is one I don't play too much. A little on the bluesy side, but it's it's a CTI. And I do have some CTI. Stanley Turrentine. Cherry with Milt Jackson. I always love their um, graphics. Um, really good covers. And Turrentine was, to me, uh, Billy Cobham and Ron Carter are the rhythm section. Which, as a bass player and former drummer... I can I can get off on a good rhythm section, and that's enough to, for me to um might even play that today. That's enough to keep me coming back to that. <coughs> okay, I'm glad I'm doing this because I'm seeing here some of these I've been pulled in a while, and the I'm seeing more degraded Blake sleeves that have to go. Tuxedo Moon, Scream with a View EP. Um. Again, another band, kind of like Swans, where it's like, um, they have that one underground sort of a hit called What Use, which is one of my favorite songs by them. But this is the sort of band that, you, you know, it's kind of like going into a museum or a, uh, or a particular place to spend time with this music. It's like a place as much as a sound. So I have Tuxedo Moon. Don't play them much. This is the one I was talking about, and... This is my replacement copy. I got it when it first came out on Ralph Records Half Mute. And it has that tune, What Use is on here. Yeah. To me, that's like an underground classic. It's a classic piece of um, post-punk underground music. I love this cover, too. And I thought that was a, a, a really brave and wise when Ralph Records picked up on Tuxedo Moon and started putting their records out. I don't have all the Tuxedo Moon. They're, see, they're the kind of out band that I've had them in the collection, known about them since their beginning. I've actually sold and gotten rid of Tuxedo Moon, Tuxedo Moon records, and now and after the fact, it's like I wish I had kept them, but I wasn't playing them. A Thousand Lives by Picture, Tuxedo Moon. You by Tuxedo Moon. Can't remember what this one sounds like. Need to play that. So this musician I became aware of um, through Saturday Night Live, was it? Or was it the uh, New York um, music program with um, Dave Sanborn? Trombonist Steve Toure, Viewpoint. Good musician. Turns out he was born in Omaha. Pretty cool. I still have, knowing that in Omaha, being a big, big town, not a city so much, interesting that I have not come across any personal connections to this man living in Omaha that I can remember. Uh, this is one of his early solo albums. I haven't played this in a while, but I know it's good. It was a keeper. Any personnel? Mulgrew Miller is on here. Yes, Idris Muhammad. Yeah, so he plays with the cats. Always does. John Faddis. Here, I went ahead, and I'm glad I did. I, I'm glad I got this. Turnstile's first album, Glow On. Now, they're the example, an example of a modern band. Seem to have kind of a punky underground um, um, start, and they've caught on. They're popular. They're making money. I mean, they've made, they've used their money, their music in, in commercials, big time commercials. That can that can be the kiss of death, depending on their original um, fan base. We'll see. I'm not collecting them, but I thought this was good enough that when I saw it, I grabbed it, and this is good. 
and the band reminds me of RAF, me and RAF, being the black bass player and the punky band. These are my bros. <laughs> I'm being slightly silly. The turnstile. Nothing embarrassing, in, nothing embarrassing here. Turning trines. I got this because it's on the Temple Records label. Temple of Psychic Youth. Um, Psychic TV. Throbbing Gristle. Chris and Cozy. Yes. I have some Throbbing Gristle. I don't have the one with the little girl I, on the cover I used to. I had an original where the cover is, it just it creeps you out a little bit. I don't have that anymore, but I have some others I catch. But this is good. This is kind of goth. I would say this is definitely goth. And it's good. It's got that swimming sort of um, sound. I like the way this is mixed. Turning shrines. So yeah, no embarrassment here. Two more. Turning Point, Creatures of the Night. I would, I'd like to get their other album, too. Jeff Klein on bass guitar. Um, Paul Robinson on drums and percussion. Um, Pepe Le Maire on voice. This is good. Jazz rock. Fusion. Good. Good album. And, um, oh, this is a good one. And Label Mates of Mine. Once again, this is another... Release on the FPE Records label that made me want to be on the label. Turning Jewels into Water, Which Way is Home. Duo, drum and sampling and electronics with... A, 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 I forget where... Um, Ravish Momin is from, but he does... His rhythms are not typical. This is good. This is very good. So I'm glad that I pulled those. Didn't come up with anything that needs to go. Nothing embarrassing. So let me again remind you. Super proud of this album, Interlude. This is, this is good. Good, good music. Healthy music. I'm offering a free download code today. Because I want someone to discover this music and listen to it. It's, just, it's good. It's as good as anything you're spending money on anywhere else. So that there will be a download code along with the site where you go to um, redeem it. Have a good day, everyone.